I will construct quadrilaterals on grid paper. So yesterday we started talking about different types of quadrilaterals and today we're going to create some quadrilaterals on grid paper. We are not going to use our journals today. We're going to go right straight to our problem set because our problem set already has some grid paper on it that can help us to draw these quadrilaterals. Alright, so your very first set page of your problem set you're going to see that you have some grid paper. This is what I was talking about. And we're going to draw at least one quadrilateral to fit the description. Use the given segment as one segment of the quadrilateral. Name the figure you drew using one of the terms below. It will be helpful if you have a straight edge. You can use the straight edge on a protractor if you want to because it's pretty easy to handle or you can just use a ruler. So A says a quadrilateral that has at least one pair of parallel sides. So take a look at the five types of quadrilaterals that they have listed at the top. Which of these have at least one pair of parallel sides? That means it has one or more. So if you take a look at your box at the top and you think about what we learned about quadrilaterals from yesterday. Remember, a parallelogram has two pairs of parallel sides, so we could draw that. A square has two pairs of parallel sides. A trapezoid has one pair of parallel sides. A rectangle has two pairs and a rhombus has two pairs. So we could draw any shape and it would fit this description. So why don't you pick a shape and I'll pick a shape and then when you're finished you can come back, okay? Alright, so I'm looking at this box and I'm looking at the way they have it and I'm thinking that I'm going to use this line to make a straight line and then I'm going to use this line to make a straight line and I am going to create a trapezoid. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to label my two pairs of parallel sides or my one pair of parallel sides. So let me get to pen instead of highlighter. Alright, so this line is parallel to this line. So I have a trapezoid here. It does say name the figure you drew, so right up here I'm going to write trapezoid. Make sure it doesn't have a space to name it. Nope, it doesn't. All right, so now it says a quadrilateral that has four right angles. So take a look at the top here at our five types and look and see which of these have four right angles. Well, a square has four right angles and a rectangle has four right angles. These are the only two quadrilaterals that have four right angles. So go ahead and pick which one you want to draw, pause the video and draw it, and then come back. Okay, so I think... I'm going to draw a rectangle here. So it's kind of tricky because the way that they have this line kind of sideways. So that means that I've got to make sure, I'm not really sure that that's a right angle. That wouldn't be a right angle. Okay, so that's a right angle. It's kind of hard to draw on this grid paper, I think. I think that's why they do it, to make you really think, but I think it makes it kind of difficult sometimes. Okay, so it may not be perfect. Yours may not be perfect either, but we're going to do the best that we can. I'm still not convinced that that is <clears throat> four right angles. As a matter of fact, I'm pretty sure that this one right here is not a right angle. All right, but we're going to go with it. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and label this. This was my attempt at a square. It doesn't exactly look like a square. As you can see that this side kind of looks like right angles and this side doesn't, but I did my best. All right, so let's take a look at the next part. A quadrilateral that has two pairs of parallel sides. So think about, go back and look at your five types of quadrilaterals. We have rectangle rhombus trapezoid, parallelogram, and square. Which of these have at least two pairs of parallel sides? Well, the parallelogram does, the square does, the rectangle does, and the rhombus does. So every one of these figures does except for a trapezoid. So I want you to go ahead and pick which one you want to draw. Take a look at this line and see which one's kind of calling your name, and then come back and we'll check and see together. All right, I think I'm going to go for the parallelogram this time. I'm going to stay away from the right angles because that's a little bit hard for me to draw on this paper. And I'm going to come up here and I'm going to make a parallelogram. I'm 
and then I'm going to label my two pairs of parallel sides. Okay, so this side is parallel to this side. And then remember, if you've got two pairs, you make the other one double arrows. This side is parallel to this side. All right, so the last one on the front here, a quadrilateral that has at least one pair of perpendicular sides and at least one pair of parallel sides. So remember back about what a perpendicular line is. A perpendicular line it means that it's two lines that intersect and form what? They form 90 degree angles. So basically what this question is asking you for is a quadrilateral that has at least one right angle and one pair of parallel sides. So think about that. Can you draw a four-sided shape that has one pair of parallel sides and one right angle? Go ahead and pause the video and try it, and then we'll come back and look at what I can come up with. Okay, so we, I could just try to draw a rectangle, but we've already found that that's kind of hard. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a trapezoid, but this trapezoid is going to have a right angle. Look at what happens when you do this. It's still a trapezoid because here's my pair of parallel sides. This side is parallel to this side. But it does have a pair of perpendicular sides because look, here is a right angle and here is a right angle. Yours may not look just like mine, and that's okay, as long as you have one pair of parallel sides and one right angle. All right, so let's look on the back. Now this has the triangular grid paper. And we're pretty much going to do the exact same thing that we did on the front, except we're going to use this different kind of, of um, grid paper. It says a quadrilateral that has two sets of parallel sides. So take a look at your choices. Which figures could you draw? Which ones have parallel sides? Or, excuse me, which have two sets? So a parallelogram has two sets, a square, a rectangle, and a rhombus. The only one that does not have two so pairs of parallel sides is a trapezoid. So take a look at your figure here and decide which one you're going to draw. And then pause the video and draw it and come back and let's take a look at it. All right, so I think I'm going to try to use this corner here and then I'm going to try to come over here and go to this corner and I make a parallelogram. A parallelogram is kind of easy to use on this paper. Alright, so let's go ahead and label our two pairs of parallel sides. You may not have drawn a parallelogram and that's okay as long as you can label two sets of parallel sides. So this is parallel to this and then these two sides are parallel to one another. Alright, a quadrilateral that has four right angles. So look up here at your choices. Which of these have four right angles? Well, the only ones that do are a square and a rectangle. So go ahead and decide which one you want to draw, pause the video, and then come back when you're finished. Okay, since they made this line straight, I think it's going to be pretty easy for me to go right straight down. And it looks like it'll be pretty easy to make a square. Alright, so let's go ahead and label, and I don't think I ever named this figure over here, but let's go ahead and do that. So I've got, this is parallel to this, and these two sides are parallel, and then I've got my four right angles. So I'm going to label this square, and I never did label this parallelogram. Let's take a look at the next question. Explain the attributes that make a rhombus different from a rectangle. So I'm going to draw these two figures, and you don't have to draw them. I'm just going to use them to help you take a look at them so that you can think about what the differences are. So remember that this would be a rhombus. It has four equal sides and two pairs of parallel sides, and this would be a rectangle. So take a look at this. It says, what make these two different? Now, first of all, they are alike because they both have two pairs of parallel sides, right? I've got parallel and parallel, and these are parallel to each other, right? <clears throat> What's one difference that you see between the two? Well, I see a couple of differences. The first difference that I notice is that a rectangle has four right angles. 
Okay, a rhombus does not. And a rhombus has four equal sides. Can you think of any way else that they are different? Those are the only two differences that I can think of. All right, explain the attributes that make a square different from a rhombus, okay? So look at the rhombus up here. Again, you don't have to draw this. This is just for you to take a look at. And then I'm going to draw a square right up here next to these just so that we can look at them. Okay, so we want to know what makes these different. Well, first of all, they're the same because they both have four equal sides. They are the same because they both have two sets of parallel sides. But what makes them different? Well, a square has four right angles, but a rhombus does not. Can you think of any other difference? That's the only difference that I can think of. All right, so again, we have a lot of information here on these quadrilaterals. Make sure that you use your problem set whenever you're going over your exit slip because it's a lot to remember.